Hello guys, my name's Aaron and in this lesson we're going to learn free falling by Tom Petty. Don't forget to put your capo on the third fret if you want it to be in the same key as the song. And the advantage of that is that the frets are slightly closer together and those open chord shapes are a bit easier. I'm going to take you through the four different chords in this song as well as the intro, verse and chorus sections. So just as a quick overview. It's pretty much the same three chords all the way through, but one of those chords, there is a variation of it in the chorus, which we'll look at. And there are basically two different strumming patterns, the really obvious one that you hear in the intro, and that is also played throughout the verses. And then there's a more heavy strumming pattern in the chorus. You could actually use that heavier strumming pattern in the chorus in the verse as well. I'll kind of leave that up to you. But let's start with the individual chords. We're gonna start with a D chord. Standard D major open chord, just played like that. Don't forget with the capo that'll actually be an F, but there we go. I'm gonna to refer to these as their normal open chord names. Then we've got a G, and we wanna play the G exactly as I'm doing it here. And that is with the second finger on fret three of the low E. The A string is muted by the underside of the second finger. And then we've got the third fret of the B and the third fret of the high E covered by the third and fourth fingers respectively. So those first two chords that you hear in the song. And then uh, the next different chord is an A sus4, played like so. And then in the chorus, that A sus4 turns into a standard A chord, like so. So just a quick overview of the section. So intro, D, G, G, D, A sus4, D, G, G, D, A sus4, okay? And then in the choruses, that's where the A sus4 changes to an A, so it's gonna be D, G, G, D, A, D, G, G, D, A. Very subtle difference, but it does make a nice difference, shall we say. So then we have to break down the strumming pattern. So I'm gonna vocalize the timeline, which is gonna be one and two and three and four and, and then I'm gonna say where the strums occur. Here we go. So it's one and two and three and four and 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 down down four and down 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 so all of those are down strums and you can play that pattern like i said before over the intro and over the verses. So that takes us to the strumming pattern that is in the chorus. Now you could do this in the verse as well. Um, I really, again, I'll leave that up to you, but the strumming pattern in the chorus has to be crucially broken down into 16th notes. Now you'll notice when I was counting for the verse and the intro, one and two and three and four and, well this time we have to turn that into 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a because it allows us to insert those strumming patterns in the right place. Okay, so the strumming pattern that we're going to play for the chorus goes as follows when played at speed. 3, 4. Okay, now you'll notice that certain notes are accented and the accents are represented by that little arrow that you see underneath the number and um, above the strum letter. And an accent is where you make a certain part of the strumming pattern actually punch out among the rest. Just notice how you can still feel that. Uh, and even if I'm strumming,
okay so you've got to really think about how you're going to make this rhythmical and that's what's going to kind of make it stand out and sound really really cool and you'll be able to accompany people etc etc if you want to or yourself if you're a singer so let's break this right down and let's vocalize the beats and then I'll play the correct strums in the correct places and I'll do a bunch of repeats and so you can listen to that and kind of digest it here we go one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and down down up down down up down. So there is your complex 16th note strumming pattern from this song. I do expect that if you haven't done that kind of thing before, or even if you have, you'll probably still have to pause the video with that strumming pattern on your screen. I'd recommend getting a metronome out and going over it over and over until it's, you know, till it's where you need it to be. There's also that riff that comes in towards the end of the song before the last chorus. You're going to have to take your capo off for this one, otherwise you're not going to be able to reach the lower notes in the riff. So the first thing you do is make a power chord shape at the first fret of the low E string. First finger on fret 1 of the low E, pinky on fret 3 of the A. That's your first chord. And you're going to go between 1, 6, back down to 1, and then back up to fret 8. But you've got these little slides in between that happen like so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you're going to have to time those slides just right to replicate what the song is doing. But at speed, it's like this. You're also going to have to include some palm muting, which is where you use this part of your palm to mute the strings close to the bridge. So if I'm actually on the bridge over here, you can hear that that's not a muted note. If I bring my hand this way, like so, the more I creep it over, you hear the how much more muted it's getting. So you want an adequate amount of palm muting, and it kind of dips in and out of palm muting roughly. that's how you make it sound like that bit of the track. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more from me like this, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that my face appears in your feed and I go, hey, try this song. And uh, yeah, check out the video that's on your screen now. And to all my usual subscribers, thank you very, very much and keep on strumming.